I'm constantly encouraging the idea of thinking kind of outside of the box in terms of, okay, here's what the curriculum tells you to do and what tells you to know and so on. But realize that this is an industry as a whole that is a very practice based B that is entirely rooted on inference and it's, there's nothing that is concrete at all. There is research out there that will suggest and support very strongly certain things, for example, that a squat is a great exercise to do, right? Or that you should keep your heels down for safety when you do a squat, things like that, right? right? And mm -hmm. um, those are good principles to abide to and to adhere to. But um, as a whole, this is just, that's just a strong suggestion rather than something that's rooted in fact. And you're gonna always have that person who does, uh, who puts calf raises into their workout program and their biceps start growing more because the calf raises are in there and that's the only thing they changed, right? So there's always going to be anomalies. There are always going to be situations that go outside of the norm. And so when we think about that and we think about how we program or whether or not there's got to be a vertical push following a vertical pull and a horizontal push following a horizontal pull or whatever, doesn't have to be that way. So being able to expand the horizons and realize that thinking intuitively and using practical and critical thinking skills might even be necessary for on-the-fly modifications, on-the-fly regulations, and so on when you're working with a client. Mm -hmm.